Hey guys, Amy here with Colorado Mountain Living, and today we're going to go over making a candy board for feeding the bees in the winter time. So we are deep into January right now, and I haven't touched my hive since Thanksgiving weekend, and that was just to do a treatment. So I haven't really assessed what their honey stores are. So this Friday, we have a great opportunity to get into the hive because the temperature is supposed to be over 50 degrees. So this is my opportunity to get a candy board into the hive and give them a little extra sustenance just in case they're running low on honey stores. And then any chance it gets over 50 degrees again, I can do it again until springtime comes. So these are the ingredients that we're gonna be using to make the candy board. Uh, four cups of sugar, a quarter cup of glucose syrup, which is gonna help with the consistency, um, some chamomile tea, just a cup of that, and a little bit, a splash of vinegar. And I'm gonna put the recipe up on the screen so you guys can have it. And then we're gonna boil it to a firm ball stage, which at high elevation here, it's probably gonna be at a higher temperature than what most baking um, resources say, about 245, it could be 250, could be 260, I'm not sure. We're over 9,000 feet here, so we're gonna to have to see, just based on consistency with a spoon, how that is. So I'm gonna pour these all together into the pan and get it boiling, and I'll show you, film the consistency so you can kind of know what to look for. So everything can just go right in to the pot, so four cups of sugar, I'm going to pour one cup of chamomile tea. Uh, this is a weak chamomile tea, I used one tea bag per two cups of water, so just one cup of that going in. I'm going to have to get a spoon to get this glucose syrup out. While that's draining, I'm going to put just a quarter teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and then I'm going to scrape this out with a knife and then get it boiling on the stove and we're going to watch as the consistency changes and I can show you what to look for. So the other thing I'm using here for preparing for the candy board is a small glass Pyrex dish. This is just a, a nine inch, nine by um, six inch dish. And I've, you can line it with parchment paper. That's probably the easier way to go, but I didn't have any. So look what I'm doing here. I've got silicone baking mat paper clothes pinned in to keep it in the dish itself, but that should be adequate space and it's nonstick. So we're not going to have to worry about that. And then in the pot, mm -hmm, uh, candy thermometer. So that's the other thing you're going to need as well. Um, got the sugar dissolved. So it's a little bit more liquidy. Um, you know, my candy thermometer doesn't quite reach down in, but once everything starts boiling, it's going to rise up the thermometer and uh, I'll be able to catch a good temperature there. It's just barely the tip is touching into the liquid right now. Ooh, it's starting to boil. Something's happening. Temperature hasn't gone up much, though. It's still about 150, so I'm just going to keep an eye on that. But it's going to boil for a while here until we get the temperature up. Okay, we're approaching 200. Or see the, how liquidy that consistency is? We're going for strings, thick syrup. About as thick as that glucose syrup was. That's the consistency we see we want to see. What well, we're approaching 230. The bubbles have gotten frothier. It's getting thicker, but it's not what we're looking for just yet. We're gonna keep going. All right, we're getting to a really cool consistency here. So it's super frothy, and when you pick it up, I mean, it's just like long clumps. See that? It's all like, it's not, it doesn't seem runny, like watery, it's like soapy. So that's what we're looking for, is this really thick. And on the thermometer, we're about 255, 60, 65, almost 270. So we're gonna, I'm gonna start, do a few more stirs and get ready to pour it into my form. This has gotta be the hard part, right? Trying to pour hot boiling sugar into a pan. Let me pour out what I can. I like using silicone, it's pretty heat proof. I think these silicone mats and my silicone spatula go up to 500 degrees, what it can handle. And uh, I don't have to scrape it that much, that's good. It's just pouring right out. Just gonna pop the bubbles, let it cool. 
It smells good. It has a, a sugary chamomile smell. Let's see if I can scrape this. It's starting to crystallize, which is really cool. Let me get it close up. It's really gooey, and now it's in the middle where I stirred it. It's really crystally and stuff. So I'm just going to let that cool, and then I'll be able to separate it from the silicone and be able to put it into the beehive on Friday. Right, guys here we are at the hive it's still a little chilly it's like 46 degrees up here it's supposed to be a high of 50 today so it's probably my best shot to um, get the candy boards in so up at the hive flip around here there's some bees flying around yay that means they're alive and it's not super super cold that they can't fly out so this is gonna be a world record of getting the hive cover off and putting in the candy board so let me show you that real quick um, I made two bricks of candy and this is the spacer and then I'm using my queen excluder as the bottom. So I'm going to put the bricks on top of that and then just whip that into the hive in between breezes here. It's a little bit windy so I'm going to be super fast, maybe five to ten seconds and I'm going to put that thing back together. Our hive here is insulated with extra quad lock um, insulated form, so styrofoam, and that was uh, left over from our foundation project. So they have a nice little secure area that's keeping the, the heat in. Very easy to take off one-handed. And we're down to the hive top here, so if I can do this one-handed. Okay, looking good. Inner cover. There's not a whole lot of them on the inner cover, so I'm just gonna, this is loose, take it off real quick. Inner cover back on top. And then put the rest of it back together. So like I said, it was like the world's fastest job, but I feel a lot more confident now that the bees have a little bit of sugar food supply in there while the cold weather is still going on. So I'll check on them again next time it's warm. Thanks for tuning in.